Hey y'all, what if here, and we got some new Ruin merch made by Funko today, um, revealed. I think revealed? It, it, correct me if I'm wrong or not, but I'm pretty sure it's revealed. Anyways, sorry if this video is later than usual when I make a video. It just, I was at work all day, so I didn't really want to, and I had footage I wanted to make. And I couldn't do that since I was at work, and yeah. So type in the script, and then I just wanted a small break, like, after work, because, yeah. Anyways, let's get straight into it. Anyways, let's start with the Miz plushies. These are supposed to be Ruined, Sun, and Moon, not Eclipse, for some reason. And they're bad, honestly. They're bad compared to any FNAF plush. But hey, that's just my opinion. Moon looks kind of decent. They're not great, but... They're not, they're kind of scary, to be honest. They're not in a great style. If Funk, Funko, whenever they do this style, it, it's terrible. It's just terrible. Anyways, let's go on to the figures. I'm saving some of the, the, the figures and the, pl not the plushies. The Funko Pops are probably the best part of this wave. The plushies, I am not, I'm not picking those up ever. I don't think. The figures here, well, low count, are great. We get Ruined Moon, Ruined Sun, or is this Eclipse? Anyways, he looks amazing. I still need to get normal Sun and Moon. I was out of the loop for a bit and was getting mad at my local Mar Walmart not seeing f any figures or plushies anymore. Found out from TNT Muffin in his Discord server, they don't do, do it anymore. Like, it's fine that's totally fine i just hate waiting for stuff to come in the mail like plush like action figures and stuff because i love to make custom so it was like nice walk in and grab the cut part and then come home and work on it anyways enough rambling about that let's get back on topic this eclipse figure i'm gonna call him it's very epic i love the detail i love his spooky eye very spooky there's not much else to say about him a really good figure i'm gonna definitely cop all three when they come out at least try to um, enough said, let's talk about Chica. Chica looks very well for Funko's last action figures. These are some of the best, to be honest. Yeah, if you didn't know, their Jawverse is getting the rights now to figures. They'll probably still make pops. But, let's just say Chica looks great and scary. At least they didn't pull a U2s, if you know, you know. Anyways, I find it interesting that they kept the left arm. No, right arm. I typed left in my script, but it's the right arm, I'm pretty sure. Correct me if I'm wrong about that. When it, uh, off a figure, because they don't really do that. And I find it great in this wave, and you'll see when we get to Roxy too. This wave is great for endo parts for customs, honestly. Um, anyways, there's not much else to say about this one. Let's get into Roxy. So, Roxy here, it would have been cool if we got a glow in the dark, Roxy that glows in the dark, like AR Roxy. That would have been cool if it glowed, glowed, like had the green parts, like radioactive Foxy. Anyways, she looks great. Amazing head mold, better than the OG um, Roxy. Um, she just looks great. A lot of endo parts, new hair, new face mold. I already said that. I don't know about the body. But um, I will say I will try to compare all of them because I just need to order Sun and Moon. And then I can compare them all whenever I order them, get them. Anyways, there's not much else to say. Let's get into the pops. It's about time we're getting original fun FNAF Funko Pops again. Not like recolors like the Christmas Wave, the Tie-Dye Wave. Anyways, let's look at this Eclipse one. I said it could be a recolor of Sun and Moon. But it's not exactly. It's a little different. Um, yeah, it, it's... It's a little different. There's a different pose. The head's probably the same mold, just a little bit more textured. Anyways, Chica here is <laughs> fucking wild. Ooh, sorry for cussing. I hate cussing in nude videos. Editor me. Please edit that sound out. Like, make, like, a sound or something. Thank you. She and Roxy are better than the YouTube's one. And the great thing about Funkos is they're cheaper than YouTube's. Like, don't get me wrong. I love YouTube's. As I bought some, I only have the King Shot one that came in recently. Pricey. But, like, it's amazing. And it, YouTube's, anyway, YouTube's, why don't you charge, like, $20? Yes, it takes a while to make. And, yes, it takes a while to ship. But, like, $30 for something that's like a Funko? Anyways, back on topic. She is way, so much detail. Like, the texturing. Holy shit. <laughs> Sorry. For a $12 figure? Whoa. Anyways. Roxy... Roxy here is awesome too. 
Finally, it's great to have original stuff like actual security breach ones after the Sun and Moon pop. That's probably what incentivized them to make these ones because we, if it didn't sell well, we probably wouldn't have these ones. And I'm sad we never got them um, originally, but I'm hoping that we get some originally now. Like, I, I don't know about the license. Like, it, does Jobwares not want them to make Funko Pops at FNAF anymore? We'll have to wait and see. But, anyways, yeah. Looting chests, finding guns, running fast, taking runs, jumping off the battle bus in the storm. There ain't no fuss, but now there's talk. Rumors flying, people saying Fortnite's dying. But I'm still here playing strong, singing my tune all night long.